Hey, yo everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing some updates pertaining to my channel, some questions I have for you guys. Um, I have some suggestions I want to throw out there, and I don't like to make any big changes on my channel without hearing from my fellow comic book brethren. So, uh, first and foremost is let's talk about some uh, updates. Um, a while back, probably a few weeks back, uh, even more so, maybe a, a month or two back, I talked about the comics that I'm always subscribed to, comics I'm subscribed to, but I could draw, comics that I read on the side, so on and so forth, and gave you guys kind of a, a comic book list, a tentative one, because this comic book list is always likely to change. Now, what you guys don't know is, uh, from the comics I review, those are the comics I get the day they come out, but there's comics I do read on the side, uh, just for, you know, when I have some extra cash. Uh, these are comics such as Fury of Firestorm. I've been keeping up with Fury of Firestorm, but I haven't been picking it up until like a month later of when the comics come out. Basically what I do is I go to my comic store and I pick out comics I like, and then I put them in my box. And then I pick them up throughout the month whenever I have a little extra cash on hand, or if I just have a, a you know, that itch, that fix that you want to read a comic book. I've also been uh, picking up the comic books that are getting canceled, such as Mr. Terrific, Static Shock, um, Metaphor I've always been picking up, OMAC I've always been picking up, but you guys get the, the point. I've been picking up the comics that I have been canceled or being canceled. So, trying to make a long story short, basically with the comics that are getting canceled, I have a few slots free on my comic book uh, list and I'm going to be adding some comics and I'm also going to be dropping some comics and I'm going to be changing the position of some comics. So I got I want to let you guys know what I'm doing, what changes I'm making, and what comics you can expect that I'm going to pick up and do reviews of. So without any further ado, let's talk about it. Now if you remember I have four categories of comic books. I have comic books that I am 100% always subscribed to. No matter what, you guarantee I'm picking them up. Then there are comics I'm subscribed to that I'm very unlikely to unsubscribe. It's possible, but it's very unlikely. Then there's comic books I'm subscribed to, but I can drop at any time. You never know, it can happen. And then there's comics I'll pick up on the side that I'm not subscribed to that you never know. I, I might pick them up, I might not. Um, so, with that said... Uh, let's get into the list itself. So I made a few changes here and there. Let's talk about the comics I'm always subscribed to, and I don't think this changed at all, but I might as well give it to you guys. Ready? Justice League. Justice League International, Justice League Dark, Earth 2, Batman, Detective Comics, Batman Robin, Batman and Dark Knight, Nightwing, Batgirl, Catwoman, Batwing, Batwoman, uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws, Birds of Prey, When It Comes Out, Batman Inc., uh, Wonder Woman, Superman, Action Comics, Supergirl, Superboy, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Flash, The Savage Hawkman, and The Teen Titans. Those are the comics that I am always subscribed to that I have fan loyalty to. Um, all the Batman comics and then um, all the superheroes that I particularly love to death. Period. Okay, so I made some changes to this comics that I'm subscribed to that I'm unlikely to drop. Uh, one comic got moved up, while one comic got moved down in categories. These are the comics that I'm subscribed to that I'm unlikely to drop. Uh, Deathstroke the Terminator, Swamp Thing, Demonites, and Voodoo. Uh, so Voodoo got mo moved up, because Voodoo has, you know, I'm starting to realize it's been a progressively good series, and it's been really enjoyable, and it's been unlike most comics I've read, and it's fun and new. So, um, I'm gonna continue picking up Voodoo. Uh, Deathstroke, although Rob Liefeld's going on it, I'm still going to pick it up because I love Deathstroke the Terminator. Unless the quality goes drastically downhill, I'll continue to pick up Slade. I love Deathstroke the Terminator. Uh, Swamp Thing is a given. I like Swamp Thing a lot. Unless the story stops getting interesting or unless uh, Scott Snyder leaves and the next writer really doesn't do much with it, I'm going to keep with Swamp Thing. And then Demonites have just, you know, it's Demonites. I love them. Etogen and the whole crew. Uh, Shining Knights, uh, Vandal Savage, X, all of them. I like them. So those comics I'm subscribed to that I'm very unlikely to drop. Uh, comics that I am uh, subscribed to that I can drop at any time. Uh, now, a new comic has come up on here. A comic has went down. And then one of the comics are getting... Actually, this is a 
everything's changed on this. Uh, Men of War is in this, but it's going to be canceled, so I really won't mention that. Um, in place of Men of War, I'm going to put GI Combat, because I'm going to at least give issue one a chance. I've been really enjoying Men of War. The past issue was mind-blowingly good, and I heard JT Kroll is going to be in uh, GI Combat. If he continues to do the work that he did on Men of War in GI Combat, you can expect some good stuff. So I'm going to put that on there. Um, Stormwatch fell. I like Stormwatch, but I haven't really been as interested in it lately as I have been other comics. So I'm going to say subscribe to it, but it's its head is currently on the chopping block. Okay? Um, and then I Vampire. Yeah, yesterday I picked up the uh, I picked up the first six issues of I Vampire. I put three of them in my box, and I took three of them, and I read them. And boy, was that... Oh my, this comic is really good. It's like, I don't know, it's like Deep Space Nine good. It's just fun and it's enjoyable and it's really dark and gritty and I didn't expect it to be what it was. But boom, it is good. So I'm going to have I Vampire join up on the team. So expect I Vampire reviews uh within the next month when it comes out i'm gonna pick up the next three issues either next week or sometime afterwards but boy was it good um uh, and then comics that i'm not subscribed to that you never know what could happen <coughs> um we have omax getting canceled um i moved world's finest down here i'm gonna give world's finest uh first issue or two a chance if it doesn't impress me, I'm not going to continue with it. I like Power Girl. I like Huntress. But, uh, you know, I'm not as humongous of a fan as other people are about them. Uh, the Fury of Firestorm, I will try to pick up on the side here and there. I am not going to review it, though. Unless you guys want me to. If you want me to review it, go right ahead. Um, but it's going to be one of those comics I'm going to put in my box and wait for a while and then pick it up and read it. Because I like Fury of Firestorm. It has some pretty good dialogue. Uh, there was so, there was a really good dialogue um, when the terrorist Firestorm blows up and kills a bunch of people. And Jason and Ronnie are there. And uh, Ronnie was it that starts freaking out. And he's like, we're breathing in the dead people. This is, oh my god. And I'm like, wow. That's something someone that just went through that traumatic experience would probably say. <clears throat> so Fear of Firestorm is in there. Sorry, I, it's weird. I had some kind of cut or gash in my neck. I think I got from eating something, so my throat is in pain. Um, and lastly, we have Animal Man. I said in my last Animal Man review that um, I'm really enjoying the cast of characters. It's just I feel as though the plot is going slow. So I will continue to pick it up. But after we do this big Swamp Thing crossover thingamajiggy, uh, if it doesn't continuously do well, um, I might drop it. Or I might just do as Fury of Firestorm, put it in my box, and then pick it up as we go. Um, so uh, Animal Man's still on that chopping block. I know that upsets a lot of fans because they love Animal Man, but you got to also realize that I'm picking up a lot of comics. Let me just count right now. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 comics. That's a lot. And that's not counting the ones I'm not subscribed to, like uh, Animal Man's Fury of Firestorm, so on and so forth. So... Something's got to be on the chopping block, so it's going to be fear, uh, uh, Animal Man. But, uh, yes, that's just a tentative list um, that I'm going to do. Save that. I made the changes. Uh, you never know. Anything could happen. Anything could change. The only thing that's guaranteed are the comics that I'm 100% always subscribed to. Uh, so that's uh, one announcement that I wanted to get to you guys. The next announcement is, uh, or this is a question for you guys. Uh, one thing I gotta re um, one thing I'm gonna say to you guys is unless something ridiculously over the top drastic happens, I will always stay on YouTube and I will always provide reviews and videos. Uh, I love this. I love the interactions with other comic book fans. It feels like a world I can go into. So, uh, even though I'm out of college and I'm looking for a job and stuff and all that, I'm always gonna somehow put up videos. I'll guarantee that. Unless something ridiculously drastic happens. Um, and I'm talking ridiculously. But 
Um, I may not have as much time for videos, so I was thinking, depending on uh, when I get a full-time job that pays nicely and not part-time like I have now, um, I was thinking, would you guys be opposed that I do a week, uh, probably, uh, let's say, three videos, and those three videos would be a what I am thinking once a week, um, a one video giving the combat book load of the week and then another video being the andrew cutter picks of the week which i would give uh news and information um what the reason why i would consolidate all my reviews in one video is because uh just time i may not have the time to do all the video reviews i want so if i consolidate it in one video i might be able to give it to you all then uh this isn't happening now and it may not happen, I don't know, but it's something that I definitely have to put in consideration, especially if the following things happen. I get a full-time job. Um, I'm going to be getting married, so I'm um, going to be cohabitating with someone else. Um, and then also, children. What if I have kids? How much time will I have children? I mean, that's not for a while down the line, but still things that you got to think about. Um, I, I like to plan in advance. So... Uh, that's Adelio. I want to hear your feedback. Give me your suggestions. What do you guys think? Are you guys okay with me doing one video where I do all the comic book reviews in that one video? I still do it as in-depth as I usually do, just all in one video. Um, please let me know. Um, like I said, feedback is always important. Um, you know, criticism is always important as long as it's constructive criticism. Um, and I always like to hear from my fellow comic book uh, brethren, the other comic book fans out there. Uh, the people that enjoy reading comic books as I do. So let me know, okay? Uh, so those are just a few things I want to throw at you guys. And I have um, a what I'm thinking all set. I'll post that up tomorrow. And then also my uh, video game showdown is going to be up Monday. So I will talk to you guys later. Xander saying, peace out for now. That was really weird. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Peace out for now.